Put Botox on the rub Botox on the front of that car, and all those wrinkles just go right away. All scratch marks go away. Sharp. Expensive, but sharp. Tell you what, go look at Corvette. I'm about to get him out of here. Because, you know, you ever watch the show when they go beep, beep, beep? I'm, I, I'm scared that's fixing the hack. We'll be right back. CNC Small Engine Repair right here in Saks, Alabama is your number one headquarters for any type of small engine repairs. From steel, snapper, Briggs & Stratton, even Murray, you name it, and they can fix it. Calvin and his staff can fix any type of small engines. They service and repair pressure washers, air compressors, and even generators. They're the only shop in Calhoun County with certified technicians and are a master sales and service location. So for any type of repairs or parts needed for your lawn care equipment, stop by or call CNC Small Engine Repair today at 256-237-9986. When you have an accident and your car breaks down the road, you have so much on your mind, you don't know where to turn. I've got your answer. Skinner's Body Shop and Record Service here in Oxford, Alabama has 24-hour towing seven days a week. They'll be there when you need them. Also, remember when you do have that unexpected accident, you can choose the body shop of your choice to repair your vehicle. And the Skinner name has been known for professionalism and attention to detail for service for their customers for over 45 years. So stop by or call Skinner's Body Shop today. Tell them Barry Miller sent you by. You know, a lot of people, when you say moldy carpet, they don't know what you're talking about. Auto Custom Carpet right here on Noble Street, downtown Aniston. Ken Hale and his staff, they have moldy carpet for your vehicle. Moldy carpet means it fits right in your vehicle. Pre-cut, all you have to do is pick out the color, tell them to make of the car, go in there on Monday, order that carpet, guess what? Towards the end of the week, they'll be calling you to pick it up. Go home, it will lay right in that car. Any type car made, they have it right there at Auto Custom Carpet. Go by today or call and tell them Barry Miller from Big Boy Stories sent you by. You know, in the state of Alabama, one thing that better be working perfect is that air condition. For all of your central heating and air condition needs, contact Wayne Mazel at Mazel Heating and Air Condition here in Oxford. They are state certified, bonded, and insured. Wayne and his staff do service, installation, new construction, and that yearly inspection. You know, every time you get a yearly inspection on that air conditioning unit, they check the Freon and check everything out, and it saves on that power bill. So give a call today at 835-0509. Tell them Barry Miller told you to call. Next vehicle, 2007 Corvette, Jim and Cindy Maddox. Jim, welcome to Big Boy Hi, Stores. Is. Cindy? Thank you. I'm going to get one of these when I get these kids out of college, sell my house, and pawn my grandkids. I'll get me a C6, yeah. and things awesome. Tell me about your car. Well, we got two. One we've got in the show today is a 2007 C6 convertible, machine silver, storm gray top. Got all the goodies, all the options that surely are. What's the other one? The other one's a 05 coupe, cobalt red, red interior. She likes the coupe to travel in, so we travel in the coupe and we just toot around in the convertible. Boy, that's something, man. I travel in the avalanche and ride around my Corvette. <laughs> <laughs> he travels in the Corvette. Well, you got trunks now. Yeah. You can yeah. put a lot in the Corvette trunk. You just, my wife packs a suitcase for me about like this and her about like that and get it all in there. Yeah, we took a ride last year in a, C in a 06 to Key West, breaking a new one. Break it in? Yeah. What do you do for them? You need anybody to help? You need help? Yeah, I need <laughs> help resting. I can rest it. Yeah. I can get into that. Can I get a part-time job? Yeah. We, we enjoy our club. We get Mid-Alabama Corvette Club. Do a lot of activities with them. A lot of fundraising uh, for the charities uh, that we sponsor. Susan B. Coleman. Breast cancer. How long have you been to Corvette Club? This is actually our third year. Now, was you with them a couple of years ago when we went out to eat and rode? We come over. We one, always go out and eat and ride well, and then just stop eating ice cream. We come over one time with the club here and we met here in Birmingham and eat, just had lunch. Yeah. And then later they came to Henniston. We eat at the barn in Jackson. We rode over Chee Hall Mountain. No, that Come was by. probably the year before we came. We had a blast. Yeah. I mean, had a great time. Well, we're going to plan that again. We got to do that again. We're, we're planning it again. We got, you know, we average at our, you know, 25, 30 Corvettes when we yeah. go somewhere. And we have a blast. Yeah. And we like you. We adopt families for Christmas. We just do charity stuff all year long right. and have a blast doing it. The, the 2007, you like it better than the 05? It's a different animal. It's a convertible. Which both we of them automatics? Both of them are automatics. The 07 has the paddle shift, six speed. They fun, ain't they? They're great. 
this is a really great car. We uh, when we drove to Florida last year in 06, 32 miles a gallon off the showroom floor. So it's a great economy car. Beats the Toyota. You know, That's I good. tell people all the time on the show they don't believe me. I got a C5 and I can get 27.8 miles to the gallon on the interstate. Yeah. I mean, my wife's got a Bonneville, I got an Avalanche, my daughter's another S10, one of the little Blazers. And they got a four cylinder. I get better gas miles than any vehicle we got right. in that new Corvette. That's it. And they say, no way a Corvette get gas. I said, oh, yeah. I said, the new ones, you fill the new ones up and go forever. Yeah. Like a Volkswagen. Got a 500 mile range on the fill up. That's a long way. Long ways. And you get there in comfort. Right. Great ride. People going to look. Right. Look at you all the way down and back. You like to drive the convertible the best or the Probably the convertible. You get a blonde in a convertible, they're going to look, son. <laughs> me, me and you can drive. I can lay my top down on my vet and drive down the road and ain't nobody look. You let my wife drop that top and that blonde hair and they'll break a neck. <laughs> You'll have the same problem. I'm not really blonde, you know. No, what? I'm not really blonde. <laughs> she ain't neither. I didn't say you cut that out. <laughs> That's okay. She's busy on Tuesday night. She ain't gonna watch it no way. Somebody said, you watch Big Boy Stories every Tuesday night? I said, no, I know what I said. I ain't gotta watch it. There's nothing else you can do to this car, right? Except driving and enjoy it? Well, we, uh, we don't spill ice cream in it. We, we just enjoy Jerry, riding. Jerry, no modifications. Drive. Well, no, it's, uh, what, what does it need? Yeah, you really four, can't. 400 horsepower right off the showroom. Uh, rides like a dream. You really can't do nothing to it. Mine, now, mine's got the bowler system on it. Put that on there. Different sound, a little more horse. And it sounds, all the guys in the club, they'll, I gotta drive your car. And they'll wanna drive it to hear what it's, they wanna hear what it sounds like on the interstate. Yeah. They wanna know if it's too loud. Cause they said when they're behind me and I get into it, they love that. But it's different, but it's, it don't modify the car that much. Yeah. Some of the guys are wanting to put twin turbos on the red one, on the coupe. But uh, how you keep it on the ground? You better hope his wife won't do it because it'll be done. Yeah. His, Chris's wife say do it. It's done. Yeah. Look at him. He's going to sleep. That's what. That's the way he does best. <laughs> Good looking car. Appreciate you being on the Thank show. Thank you. Enjoy we'll be right back. Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys. You see the sponsors on this blackboard? These sponsors is what brings Big Boys Toys to you each and every week. If it wasn't for the sponsors and the car owners, you wouldn't be watching Big Boys Toys six, seven times a week there in your home. And it's a new show each and every week. We're getting our calendar ready for 2007 right now. If you've got a car show coming up and we're not booked that day, I'll try my best to be there. And if you want to be a sponsor of Big Boys Toys, give me a call today. 283-4404, Erico 256, and say, hey, I want to be a part of the number one show in Northeast Alabama. You know, your vehicle is a possession that everyone needs at all times for safe transportation, whether it be going to work, going to church, or just that family vacation. Friendship Automotive right here on Friendship Road in Oxford has the personnel with the experience to keep your pride and joy running smoothly. From brakes, tune-ups, shocks and struts, engine analysis, they're second to none in this area. They also specialize in electrical wiring on all makes of vehicles. Stop by and see Randy Russell or John today. Tell them Barry Miller sent you by. And then I said they're the best around when it comes to your vehicle. You know, the most important decision you'll ever make in your lifetime is to purchase a home. And you want the most professional real estate agent in the business. Well, Charlotte Smith of Ghost Star Realty is that agent. Charlotte has helped several families and find, purchase their dream home. From listing, showing, to selling, Charlotte puts her clients first. And remember, no matter whose sign is in the yard of the dream home you want, you can contact Charlotte to professionally handle your purchase. Call Charlotte today at 256-282-0054. Graves Tile and Stone right here in Trustville, Alabama is your number one location for countertops, ceramic tile, marble, granite, and brick pavers. And with over 40 years experience in the business, they are simply the best. They welcome new construction or remodeling, and even repair those leaky showers. With their free estimates, why should you call on anyone else? Give them a call today. Tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys told you to call. Next vehicle, Brittany Neesmith, 1969 Camaro. It's probably one of the prettiest blue Camaros you'll ever lay two eyes on. Welcome to Big Boys Toys, Brittany. Thank you. 
What you grin it for? You know it's pretty. <laughs> you know it's pretty. Let's get right to it. First of all, how old are you? 17. Ain't it nice to see 17, 18 year old kids, not kids, uh, young adults that want an old car. Did you want this Camaro? Yes, I've always wanted a Camaro. We've got a couple back in Oxford High School there. One of them's got a Pontiac Tempest, and it's a young lady got a 65 Mustang. She drives it every day to school while passing. And it makes you feel good when some of the teenagers want old cars. Besides, Daddy smiling, she didn't want a new BMW. She wanted it. Well, it might have been cheaper to get the BMW. Tell me about your command. Um, well, I've been to car shows my whole life, and this is our first car show for the Camaro, and I haven't even got to drive it yet, and my dad built it for me. Tell, I'm going to tell you something before your daddy tells you. Don't let no boys drive that car. <laughs> now, did you help with the car? No. Did you pick the car? Yes. The interior you helped with it? Mm -hmm. I helped pick it out. I helped pick everything out, but I don't know a lot about it. What size motor is in it? 2002 Vortec. You wouldn't want a four-speed? I don't know how to drive those. It ain't funny. I got an 18-year-old daughter don't know how to drive a four-speed either. You have to get her automatic. I mean, she couldn't pull a four-speed for her hit that side. You know how many boys will be standing all over that car? Where you go to school at? Hartzell. We filmed up there, and he's got a bunch of the guys from Hartzell come in. It's beautiful cars. So maybe you'll get to you gonna drive when you leave here? Oh, we haven't even cranked it yet, so I don't know if it cranks. You going to let your dad drive it? <laughs> Yeah, my You know it's going to crank. He built it. It's got to crank. <laughs> you don't say that on TV when your daddy built it. I don't know if it's going to crank. It, you'll say, it's going to crank, run good. I'm sure it will, but we just don't know yet. He'll let you drive it around the block. Did you help him clean it up to bring it in? <laughs> Did you come with him when he brought it here? Uh, he came Thursday. I came Friday. I was in school. <laughs> Do you stand around and let people look at you in the car? Yes. Found something she done. <laughs> it's awful clean. You didn't even do nothing. He did it. And my boyfriend. Which one's your boyfriend? That one right there. <laughs> Come here, son. Come on up here, man. <laughs> yeah, come on right over here. I'm going to get a little look at you. <laughs> Y'all, hey, Greg, zoom in on that face. <laughs> if he drives that Camaro, you'll see that face again. You might not be smiling, but you'll see it again. What do you think about the Camaro? It's nice. Real nice. You got, see your daddy standing there. You got a good-looking woman. She's driving a beautiful Camaro. Mm -hmm. You go to Hartsville High School, too? I'm older. Boy, you about to build up them muscles. You're going to have to do some fighting. <laughs> them boys are going to be like this, and you're going to be standing like this. You're about to build up some muscles. Mm -hmm. I'm trying. Or be real nice. But you better be real nice to that fella, because if he catches you driving that car, oh. <laughs> what kind of car are you driving on? Uh, Trailblazer SS. Oh, you got a little speed anyway. You know he's going to spin a tire. You know he's going <laughs> to dog that car. I copied him. That's the same thing he's got. If you got to drive, tell the truth, in front of all these people, the man up there, if you got to drive that car today, would you punch it? Tell the truth. He's going to get to drive it. He's going to get to what? He's going to get to drive it. <laughs> when? <laughs> Is daddy going out of town or something we don't know about? He knows. He's going to let him. Answer my, oh, he's going to let him answer my question. Are you going to punch it? I might have to once. <laughs> you still going to let him drive it? Well, he likes you. You might as well go ahead and ask him. Can he I work for him. Huh? I work for him. You know he's going to kill him. You'll have him every day. Uh, you work for him. Did you help him clean the car? I helped him clean it. You mean he helped your daddy clean your car? Mm -hmm. She got it whooped and don't know it. <laughs> and you graduate in May? Mm -hmm. You going to send me an invitation? I want to see you drive that Camaro your last day of school. Okay. I'll come to Hearts and watch it. Because <laughs> it'd be worth it watch you fight. Oh, yeah. <coughs> you're going to have to whoop a lot of them boys. Mm -hmm. You're hoping they ain't one of them big football players. Uh -huh. I'll come help you. Well, I need you. Her daddy's pretty good size here. Good looking car. Appreciate you being Thank on the you. show. Thank you. Like I said, you're looking at it now. Best looking Camaro you'll ever lay two eyes on. All your boys in Hearts. 
Her daddy's a big old fella. He'll whoop you bad. You gotta leave that woman alone. We'll be right back. You know, no matter who you are, sometime during your lifetime, you, a family member, or a friend will have a problem that requires legal services. The law offices of Payne and Crow are experienced in various aspects of legal system, from criminal defense, child support, legal custody, workman's compensation, personal injury, and even wills and estates. Randy Payne and retired district judge Alan Crow have experience from both sides of the courtroom. They have a paralegal on staff, and they put their clients first in all cases. Give them a call today and tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys told you to call. Let me tell you about the best kept secret in Northeast Alabama. Sada Ridge Golf Club in Oxford, Alabama is one of the most beautiful golf courses you will ever play on. They have a pro shop with special prices on some of the most popular name brands of golf and equipment. With the banquet room and staff, they can also handle any time of golf tournament or just a corporate or small group function. Lonnie Reese, the PGA pro and manager, also has golf lessons for people of all ages. Call or visit Saddle Ridge Golf Club today. Tell them you heard about them on Big Boys Toys and receive a special discount on that next great round of golf. Big Cheese RV sells parts and service right here in the old Anniston Airport building. Anniston Airport Boulevard, Oxford, Alabama. I'll tell you what, any kind of camper, RV, motorhome, you name it, Eddie Brown and his staff have it. From Gulfstream, Timber Lodge, Four Trail, Genesis, they got all parts and accessories. Anything you need accessory-wise, for your RV or your camper, they have it right there. Give Eddie a call today at 1-800-335-3617. Tell Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys told you to call. Next vehicle, Mike Saxton, 1996 Corvette. Mike, welcome to Big Boys Toys. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about your car. It's a 1996 uh, C4. It's got a uh, 5.7 liter V8. It's got the Greenwood custom spoiler kit. Uh, got high performance, magna flow, exhaust system on it. Uh, it's bright red. I guess you can call it torch red. Oh, it's red. red. It's red. Red, red. red. It's red. It's, it's definitely red. But I've had it for about <coughs> four years, going on four years. And uh, it doesn't draw drive. What made you pick the Corvette to fix up? To... Well, I've always enjoyed Corvettes. I had one. I uh, had a... 1981 C3. And I had to got, get rid of it because I got family. But I've always enjoyed them and I finally got a chance to get another one and, and I got that one. And in 96, uh, you know, that commemorative year that came out with the Grand Sport. It's blue and with the big white stripe. And uh, it's got the, of course, the LT4 engine that gives it about 30 more horsepower. But you can only get those in a I think the five speed. Right. For mine, it's like I said, it's a standard 5.7 liter V8. Yours but is five speed. Automatic. No, mine's all man. Now, all the, the conversion, all you done to it, you did it yourself or what? Yes, did it, did it myself. Did it myself. Corvettes are actually harder to work on than people think they are. Oh yeah. Oh but, yeah. You know, Corvette and a Corvette, you can't change as much as you can on a lot of cars. Right. It, right. Because of the way they're built, the stuff they're built with, it's hard to. Do a lot of changing. Right. Anything else you want to do with this? No, just uh, might be a few nicks here and there from road wear, but other than that, just driving. Driving and have a good time. Driving and have a good time. Now, where do you live at? Here in Birmingham? Here in Birmingham. Now, you said you watch Big Boy Stories. How long I've been you? watching it religiously for the last four years. It's, I like to say you're a great host, man. Everybody, we have a great time with it, and you don't know what's going to happen next because of that fella standing right there. You kind of don't know what's going to happen next on the show. And we try to keep it interesting so people will keep watching. And we show people like you or people that took cars and done it, but not like some of the shows where they work on the same car for four weeks. Mm -hmm. And then they show it. This is something that you've done. I've done. These people done. They actually get to see what people do to their own cars. Right, right. So nothing else you want to do to this one? Nothing else I want to do to it. Just enjoy it. Do you drive it to all the cruise ends around here? Uh, I've driven it to several of them, but I'm working a lot, so, you know, just whenever I can get, you know, Tannehill and, you know, some of the car shows, I want to try to start making Tannehill's a good show every year. Tannehill and is a good show. Walmart and down Bessemer. So. Tell you what, you're looking big. Appreciate you being on the show. Thank you. We'll be right back.
looking for great savings on new and pre-owned cars and trucks, then head on over to Ron Newton Pontiac Cadillac GMC. Our courteous and knowledgeable sales team is ready to show you our huge selection of cars and trucks at out-the-door prices. Don't settle for our competition's offer. At Ron Newton Pontiac Cadillac GMC, we're committed to sales, service, and customer satisfaction. So head on over to Ron Newton's. We'll treat you right. That's Ron Newton Pontiac Cadillac GMC, top of the hill, Quintard. Next vehicle, Cheeky Deeks, 1983 Ford pickup. Cheeky, welcome, big boy. Story. Thank you. You ain't never seen a Ford pickup like this. Tell me about your truck. It started out a uh, 1983 Ford Ranger. Um, started out as a Napa delivery truck uh, when it was bought brand new. Napa delivery. Napa delivery. And uh, what we did, we decided to go ahead and do a full custom job to this truck. Um, basically, what we've done, we uh, basically built the truck in 02. Uh, it was built for the Riddler. Uh, it was a grade eight contender vehicle. Uh, came in uh, second for the Riddler, runner-up. And uh, basically, uh, it's been away for a few years, uh, about four and a half years. And we just brought it out this year. Uh, it's been away, and we're gonna bring it back out on the show circuit and uh, have some fun with it. Now, tell me a little bit about the motor in this thing. Motor, uh, believe it or not, is a 427 big block Chevy. Uh, it's got about 650 plus horsepower. Uh, runs on Crowler fuel injection, uh, electronic controlled. Uh, it's got all uh, aluminum heads on it, fully ported and polished. Uh, the block itself has been ground down smooth and uh, cherried for show reasons, you know. Uh, transmission's a six-speed ZR1 Corvette trans in it. Uh, that also has been ground down smooth, and everything's painted to match, you know, the body and... Uh, it's fun to drive, too. Man. It's fun. It's a good little toy. Now, do y'all drive it a lot or haul it mostly? I'll tell you, we, we do a lot of hauling with it, um, but it's got about 150 miles on it, so we do drive it, you know. It does get some, it does get some road use, you know, but it, it, mostly at the outdoor events. <coughs> Probably a gear ratio. You can't drive it far. Um, you know, it's got a 513 gear ratio in the Ford 9-inch, and with the big meats on the back, with the with the ratio with the with the six-speed, it, it works out pretty well, believe it or not. Tell me a little bit about Hot Flash. You know, me hot and, Flash. We've, we've been talking about it, and I talked about it a couple of weeks ago on the show. He's here today, and you use this on that truck. Uh, we use a Hot Flash product on that truck, and uh, Fred came up to me originally at the uh, Chattanooga show. And uh, he said, you know, I really want you to try this product. And I sort of, you know, tried to steer clear from him, to be honest with you. Um, you know, the first time he came up to me and I said, you know, I'm okay. I got, I got my polishes that we normally use. And I said, no, just please try it. So I said, go ahead, well, let's try it out. So we tried the product. And I'll tell you what, um, after seeing what this hot flash does, it, it, it really is unbelievable. It really does work. It works exceptional on chrome, uh, on the glass, and on the paint. So it, it's it's a heck of a product that he has there, and I would strongly recommend it to anybody in the in the show circuit or with a you know. Most nice of you watching the show, you know, you're gonna say I've never heard of this. Well, you contact me, I can tell you where to get it. Can you get it around here? But I can tell you where to get it. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's well worth the investment, and I'll tell you, we bought a case of it, and that's all I will use on that truck from now on. It made a huge difference in my chrome; it really did. And uh, you know, it's uh, it's a heck of a product. Tell you what, it's a good-looking truck. Appreciate you being on thank the show. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. While he's sitting there, I want to thank you for watching Big Boy Stories this week. Had a great time, a lot of great cars with the BJCC World of Wheels. And remember, like I say each and every week, the sponsors on the backboard. People like Chicky, they make Big Boy Stories possible. If it wasn't for them, you wouldn't watch a show each and every week. Tell everybody goodbye. Have a good day. Take See care. See you next time on Big Boy Stories. Thank you. <laughs>